I don't expect them to be executed. Most unlikely. KP Fabian was India's ambassador to Qatar, and he's fairly confident Qatar is unlikely to go ahead with the death penalty handed down to eight ex-Navy personnel by a Qatar court. Ambassador Fabian also says the change cannot be expected overnight, as these things can take time. So could there be some light at the end of this dark tunnel? There are allegations of espionage. There's a possible allegation that they were working for getting information for Israel. These are broadly the allegations that are known. But given the highly sensitive nature of this case, more details are not available. The allegations are serious. What we know is this. The ex-Navy officers were working for a Doha-based company that was working closely with the Qatari Navy for skills upgradation. They were involved in assisting on an Italian midget submarine with stealth properties. That brings us to the obvious question. After the court has given them the death sentence, what options does India have? Appealing against the lower court's verdict is the top option, as India keeps pushing the matter at a diplomatic level. Amir can give a pardon. Of course, one has to apply for that. I'm sure that at the right time, it will be done. And there is precedence for it. Some years ago, three Filipinos were, one was sentenced to death. He was working for the Qatar General Petroleum. And two others, they were working with the Air Force. So the charge against them was that these two working for the Air Force were giving information to the third Filipino, Filipino who was working for Qatar Petroleum, who was passing it on to Philippines government. And it was again national security. It was to do with Air Force and all that. So in that case, what happened was that uh, the death sentence passed on that uh, Qatar General Petroleum guy, that by the Court of Appeal, it was reduced to life sentence, you know. And then the other two, they were sentenced to 25 years. But that again, the Court of Appeal reduces to, if I remember right, it has come in the this thing, 15 years or something like that. There is also the option of taking the case to the International Court of Justice, like New Delhi did in the case of Kulbhushan Jadhav, sentenced to death in Pakistan. But that's not an option the former diplomat would advise India to pick. When it comes to executing the death penalty, apart from one Nepali migrant worker executed in 2021, there has been no other execution in Qatar for 20 years. Nothing works in a vacuum, and that's where other factors could play a role, even if not directly influence an outcome. India-Qatar bilateral trade was at $15.03 billion in 2021-22. There are over 6,000 Indian companies operating in Qatar. 8 lakh Indians stay there. Many among them are professionals, such as doctors, engineers and managers, who contribute significantly to Qatar's economy. Qatar Invest Authority is planning to open an office in India. 90% of Qatar's imports on things like pharma products come from India. The Emir of Qatar made a state visit to India in 2015, while Prime Minister Modi visited Qatar in 2016.